Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of the Newcastle United career mode and we start off with some instant bad news. Uh, Carl Darlow has got a training injury, only for two weeks, but still not the best, not what you really want to hear. Um, we also come into some the first set of scouting updates for the Youth Academy, so take on <laughs> instantly. Wow. Isaac Bai, I guess? Uh, Six foot two centre back, one point four million in value, eighty to ninety four potential. Yes, please. Uh, couldn't really have asked for a better start than that. And as for England, anyone there? Uh, Joshua Matthews looks okay, decent potential, nice value. I'll yeah, that's very nice. Sign him right up. Uh, the rest of them, not so much. I've had an offer from Huddersfield for Henry Chavez. I'll just accept that straight away. Um. The offer for Atsu uh, broke down, uh, that didn't go through in the end, unfortunately. And we get the news that Honor Chavette's sale to Huddersfield has gone through, he'll be leaving us in January, we'll get 500 grand added to the budget, not a lot, but it's a nice little little bonus on top of what we already had. Uh, first game of the season, we are going to play it, um, want to get off to a, a good a start as possible, you know. Um, and really, Fulham's a team we should, should be able to beat. So, Callum Wilson gets us kicked off for the first ever Premier League match in this Premier I think I'll probably try to get to about a month per... Uh, most of the Korean repair episode. I'll keep it moving down to 20 episodes per season. And the player marking from the defence is atrocious. Like that. I mean, that was my fault. I dragged the sellers over to them, but the way they just don't move, they just stand there, they don't cover anyone. Wilson just made a run, but he was not. The shot of him wasn't anything previously. I'm wrong for attacking. And we're back at it. Wouldn't have pegged him to be the first competitive scorer of the game, but then again, I do usually do more, uh, better work with in the nines and the tens. But. You know, was a pretty simple tap in the end. Nice to see that he started getting into some uh, scoring form in real life as well. Over the course of the last season. I don't think we've ever seen Alexander Mitrovic do skills like that before and I don't think we ever will. It's not really his style of play. Um, it's a bit unrealistic that they just got every every player in the game doing 10,000 step overs and, and twirls and stuff to try and beat you on, on these uh, high difficulties. Shelby, what the? That's an issue I've seen crop up over and over again. People having with this this new FIFA players just getting in the way, just being thick on your for your team. Oh, 
There's the other top scorer from last season, the uh, the league one, John Joe Shelby. That may be one of his best ever Premier League seasons last season. And Callum Wilson into the bottom corner. Excellent ball over the top from Shelby. Just perfectly placed. Landed right where he needed to, to get on with, to, with Wilson. And that's 3-1. 3-0. 3-1. 3 one, three nil? Three, three one, three one. They did score. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure. I didn't mean to. I didn't click X there, but... I'm pretty sure I did just swipe his legs out with, with Shelby. Alright, Maxi. Get going. You've got the pace. We all know you do. Cut it back for me. And that's four. Sweated it a bit with that one, but oh well. This is a career mode, not ultimate team. If I can score a goal, I will. Much like in, uh, much like in real life. Cal Wilson's tucked two away. Yeah, two from penalties, two from very close range so far. Throws in real life, and one from planes then. So. Yeah, I'll take the goals if they come. Damn it. But, uh, actually, I shouldn't have done that now that I think about it. I should have put Hendrick on instead. Oh well. Sean can come on for Shelby. Quite out of position here, which isn't the best. But Hayden intercepts, makes a tackle, pass it to Kraft, drives it forward, get it to Almiron. I haven't really been able to tell if they've properly fixed the corner and crossing issue in the last game. I hope they have because that was annoying that you, it was near impossible to, to score from crosses and corners. Like they made that much harder than it really needed to be. So long stuff making the run was sort of a bit too late. Didn't miss that one. Huh? Sean finishes it off. Doubt we'll get anything more, but that's a really good game to open the season off with. And there we go, first game over and done with 5 2 win. Nice. Nice little goal fest for us there to open it up. <laughs> couldn't, quite, couldn't quite tell if that was Lascelles who was next to Fraser then, or Wilson. Uh, but that height difference is a bit ridiculous. I should mention as well, uh, in the first episode, the uh, my capture wasn't recording the in-game audio for the... Um, I mean, I've got commentators and menu music turned off, but uh, you should have been able to hear the in-game sound like the stadium ambience um, I, sh I think that's fixed for this one hopefully at least and the other thing is in in real life the uh, the international window closed after four league games the domestic window after five so I'm gonna st and then that's when the, uh, the squads have to be submitted by so now, I'll tell you what this year we'll stick to what's like in real life and I'll do it on the uh, 
on the 14th, so after the fifth game week, I'll decide who my squad is. And then every season after that, it'll just be the day after the transfer window closes. So sim simulate real life as much as possible. We'll do it on the 14th. So uh, I've got till then to decide who takes those last two slots. Like I said, Yedlin, Vilken, Murphy and um, Anatu are the ones competing for it. New day, we're getting a bit closer to the next fixture, but we've got first a uh, an offer to loan Yannick Torre, but they want they want an option to buy in it. So I'm gonna go in and negotiate because I don't want to do that. I want to see if I can, because in real life at least this kid looks like he's got a lot of potential. He looks pretty decent. Uh, don't know if that's something that uh, they've set in fee for what his potential is. I hope so. Um, but just in case I'm not going to do that. Just looking to loan him away for now. Nope. Alright. Well, it's a shame because I would have liked him to get the playing time. So we'll give a run out in this game to uh, Fernandez and Richie in the starting eleven, and Manquilo comes back in for Kraft. Everyone else stays the same. Um, nothing too surprising in that lineup except Eze at uh, at central midfield. I wouldn't have fancied him there. I'll be honest. Hopefully we can take advantage of that. Um, he doesn't really strike me as a central midfielder that can put himself about. Shelby can drop to the bench in favour of the more physical and battly Hendrick and hopefully we can use that to uh, to boss them about there a bit because Hayden can take McCarthy and hopefully Hendrick will be able to outmuscle Eze and keep him quiet. Alright, second game of the season we're in the absolutely disgusting lime green sickly yellow coloured kits that I really don't like. Uh -oh. oh excellent stop from Dubravka as Fetty gave the ball away. Let's see it week in week out. I saw an interesting stat about Fernandez uh, recently actually. He's not missed a game in the Premier League since October. Which, considering he was just brought in to be cover under Rafa a few seasons ago, is incredible. He's done really well. <laughs> Hendricks guys it. Nice, nice attack. Didn't quite work out in the end. I don't want to be that high up to pitch though, Hendricks. That's not really where I want me to be playing, if I'm being honest. Pals have been unfortunate this season so far. They've been the, uh, the subject of a few questionable decisions by VAR to cost them points. Nice pass. Over the top of the pace. Straight off. Shoots, scores, bottom corner, Callum Wilson get in. As he phases through the advertising board. That would have been great if that had come off. Just wide in the end. Team. Don't let them... Nope. Thank you. Dubs again. Coming up big when we need it this game. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was questioning whether crossing had been fixed it, but on the basis of that, it looks like it has been. That's what, three goals so far for Wilson? Don't know if that was 
was offside or a foul. Kilo's pushed quite high as a pitch. It's alright though because the pressure's forcing him back. Forcing a mistake. Is the hat trick on? Nope, not yet at least. Oof, you play that close, Dubs. Ah. I thought that was on. I will put Sean on for Hendrick. Hendrick's played well so far, but I'd like to get Sean involved in as many games as possible. Uh, even the ones he's not starting. Almost messed that throwing up. Good thing Maxi's agile. Come on, we've got the pace to beat Sacco. That's a corner, surely. Yeah, I, I was going to say. I didn't send it off at that angle, did I? Bit too much on that one. If we'd have played that from just slightly further back down the pitch or a bit sooner or with a bit less power or something might have been opportunity for going in three shouldn't have backed off with that one should not have backed off with it And there's the hat trick. And what a leap for that header as well. Again, it went really quiet before uh, leading up to that one. Got a bit nervy with uh, with them scoring. And then going on the attack with Zaha almost dancing his way into the box. The second three points of the day. Off to a good start so far. I think we've got two more. Two more games here. Oh, and Leeds in the cup actually. Uh, one of the f what, what, what's it looking like? There? That's only three games. There. I'll probably sim West Ham. So I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll leave it off before that Sheffield United game. Uh, Willian party and getting Ceballos back on loan again. They're all really good signings and they really improve Arsenal's team. So this. Could be a struggle, but playing with their uh, with a five at the back, so hopefully that means we can uh, take the game to them. We'll have to be careful for the counter attack though, because Willian and Bamiang Martinelli that that that'll hurt if they manage to get in behind. Like I said, that that front three that they've got could really hurt on counter attack. So focus has got to just be for this game at least patiently waiting for the open and keep control of the possession keep, keep the ball don't rush in don't get cross outside and give them a free kick Fraser thankfully that got well, well there we go that's the long ball over the top that I'm worried about uh, I didn't just choose Yedlin randomly either this game was once I saw us playing Arsenal, I was like, yeah, yeah, he's going to play this game because of his, his pace. Not that it helped there, was it bang and just waltzes through the back line like it's not even there. To be fair, he does that quite a lot to a lot of teams. The ball got tangled between uh, Yedlin and Shea, which isn't ideal. I would have preferred that to not happen. If possible, it's probably a uh, 
drew leads in the cup. I just realised that's not the best because they're another prem team and they look decent, especially in real life. Which means I'm not going to be able to rotate in the sim as much as I would have wanted to. Yeah, if Darlow's fit to the play, I'm not going to ask him. I have to see who plays that down. If I'd drawn a League 2 opponent or something, like I wanted, it would have been entirely the second team. With more reserves and stuff to play. I wonder if Lacazette's injured or. I don't know if they couldn't have sold him because, well, the transfer window's not active for this first window. If he's not playing. I wonder if he's injured, or he's suspended, or if you just, just don't fancy him. For some reason. Play Martinelli, whose preferred position is actually a left wing, at least in game. Is an interesting choice. One I'm thankful about, because I didn't really fancy facing Lacazette and Abanyan at the same time. 1 0 down at half time. It's, we can recover from that, but it's, it's been tricky so far. Getting clear cut chances out. <sighs> I thought I put quite a bit more power onto that than I. Well, than it looked like in the end. I'll always get some more of that one, but then they spread right back out of play for me. Cheers, guys. Appreciate it. Damian was closing me down quick, yeah, I'll tell you what. Yeah, then use that pace of yours. Too easy. Too easy. Taking advantage of the lack of defensive movement teams have this year. Yeah, just, Luis just lets Wilson stand in as much space as he likes. Well, I told you they'd hurt if they got space. Uh, the three goals in three games might be why they're playing uh, Martinelli, which is fair enough. He, look, he looks a decent talent. Looking forward to seeing how his career goes. If he sticks with Arsenal, because he's got some, comp some tough competition there for a starting 11 place. But I do think... He's got it in him to break into that first team at some point. Especially with Lacazette and uh, Bamiang and even William actually, they're all not, not young, none of them. Is it back up again? And we've got four goals in all competition in all competitions last season. He's already uh, got half of that this season in the uh, the game where we fresh Morkham in the cup. Um hopefully he can improve on himself. I do I I want him to do well. I just don't think he will. Um I hope he proves me wrong. Bring Murphy on for a bit as well, and Longstaff. <sighs> I needed to, yeah, you know, spam B to try and play that, and just didn't do it in time. And credit to him, even with a f five defenders on the pitch, Arsenal are giving me a bigger challenge than either Palace or Fulham did. I thought there was an offside in this one. The old calls for it. We're heading towards our first loss. It does look like it.
Oh well. Yedlin got some minutes, didn't really do anything with it. Murphy be harsh to judge on that game. He didn't really get much time to make an impact. Time for Joey a few questions. Goal, which is a rare thing, so it's always nice when that happens. Uh, that'll do for this one. I'm gonna Oh that one. I'll sim it at first, see how it goes. I can jump in if, if need be. Been surprised by Bamford this season. He's really, really impressed. Uh, I, I mean, I doubt it. I think he put like, other, other fans probably did too. His ability to step up into the first team at Premier League level. Um, I wasn't sure he'd, he'd handle that very well. Uh, he's proven me wrong so far. Long stuff, Joey. Oh, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Murphy, if I'm right, yep. Yeah. That goes a decent way to convince me if, if that's what I can expect. That was well done. Hendrick and Joey had a nice bit of oh, one, two, leading up to that. Oh, that's a nice ball. They're unlucky that didn't come to more. Jack Harrison. He's probably going to spend like the next five years of his career on loan at Leeds. Okay. One all at half time. They've had all the possession, actually. That's alarming. Uh, I'm going to let it let the sim carry on playing out for now. Uh, but I'm ready to jump in if need be, which I probably will have to. If they score again, I'm jumping straight in. Or if it gets to 70 minutes and we haven't, I'll jump in then as well. Alright, moving on, that makes it very easy. Well, it doesn't, it makes it difficult for me. Simple, I should say. Murphy, that was annoying. <laughs> nope. That took a while to get. And now that we've got it, I'm going to make some changes because Hendrick's looking a bit tired. Joe can go there. Carol can go there. Murphy can stay there. I'll put Vilka there. Aaron's wanted a game actually, so he can come on for Joey. Who played well this game. Very happy with his performance. From what I can see, he's played really well. And he finished this off quite nicely. So scared to foul on that. <laughs> well, it does have. But I don't need because Murphy's going to slot that in. At the death. Well done, Jacob Murphy. Um, what he does have is his, uh, his strength and his aerial ability, which, you know, it's. It's it's not crucial to the team, but it, it's useful to have as an option. And he's almost firmly cemented his place in the squad with this the performance in this game. Oh, Leeds will feel heartbroken by that. That's daylight robbery. I'll take it, but that. I'm, I'm big enough to admit that that was undeserved. I'm 
that man, Jacob Murphy, with this goal here. Like he scored the first one as well, and, and had a decent game overall from what I could see on the, on the sim thing. Uh, but that goal was class. That was an excellent goal, and yeah, I, I'm thinking he's he's almost certainly going to be sticking around now for a bit at least. Hendrik Clark, Kraft, Scher, Lewis Fraser, Dummett, Arnon. None of the English lads. Um, as in real life, which, I don't know, any Newcastle fans who watch this, or anyone else, actually, uh, do you think any of our players deserve to be called up for the England squad? Um, personally, I think Hayden should be. If Ward-Prowse and, and the likes are getting, getting called up, and Declan Rice, who is overrated massively then I don't see why Hayden shouldn't personally um, you know, agree, disagree, think any of you that should get in just let me know interested to hear what you think about that uh, so that's it for this episode guys um, I'm going to leave it there and we'll open with this game on the next episode um, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, or subscribe. If you can, that would all be brilliant. Um, yeah, have a good one, uh, and I'll see you next time.